Buddy owes me an apology. Why? For what? What happened? Because he gave me the other day when he was all messed up. Yeah. And I tried to explain to him why he was messed up. Because I was the one who told you about it. Because yeah. I have somebody in my family who's on meds like that. And when they wean him off it, sometimes the blood levels get crazy. And you go into, like, you get lethargic. Hey, can I ask you a question? What? Why do you insist on wearing tight shirts? You got a gut. <laughs> so what? But I'm just saying, you oh, sit down. Oh, leave me alone, like, man. What's your problem? I came in to yell at Artie. I don't want to get my ass. I'm looking at you. Now. Where's these tight-knit sweaters? I like them, okay? Shows every bit of flab. I don't okay. You like it? Here. Leave sure. me alone. <laughs> Take a look at this. Anyway, I came to yell at Artie. You should I wear a nice shirt. I think, he owes man. Me, I think he owes me an apology. Whatever you need, Ron. Because, okay, man. You know what? I'm sorry. I was looking out for you, and you, you, you gave me this whole lecture, and you made me feel bad that Dana was upset with me. And all you know who else does wears the tight shirts? <laughs> Simon Cowell Simon on American Cowell's Idol. shirts you know, are not only tight, they're too right, small. Ronnie, get out of here. What's the matter with you? I want an apology. I said I'm to sorry. Here. Yeah, what's I'm up with sorry. that, man? What's up with their shirts? <laughs> what's your problem with me, man? Every time I walk in here, you got something to say. Your shirt's too tight, bro. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Look at that. He's going to continue to wear his two I mean, tight shirts. The guy's got a nice figure. I mean, just your, your clothes are too tight, dude. Go away. What Where's these mean? tight knit sweaters like a woman? He loves that knit sweater. Knit sweater. I mean, it's just every he's day. He's just a, a grouchy old Jew. <laughs> Shut up, all right? Who thinks he's Italian, too? Yeah, right. <laughs> he sits in the hallway. Are you crazy? And he does nothing all day. <laughs> no. He is the head. Security, even though he's just four foot three, <laughs> he is a grouchy old Jew. Just shut up. Who thinks he's Italian too? Yeah, I know the guy who's always throwing me under the he's bus. Jew Jean, Jew Jean, Ronnie's a Jew Jean. Oh, Jew Jean, Jew Jean, Ronnie's a Jew Jean. Yes, Jew Jean, Jew Jean, Ronnie's a Jew Jean. Oh, Ronnie's a Jew. Talking about, yeah, really. What? Uh, why the knit shirt? I don't know any guy. I like it. You mind? Where do you get those? And you got like twenty of them. I buy, I buy them in a store. Do the girls with scores like that look? I don't wear suits to scores. No. Man. You no. wear those shirts though. No, I don't. You wear them with jeans. I've seen you in there. No, I don't. I do not. I don't wear these to score. What are you crazy? Well, I see what you wear. You wear tight knit shirt. I see shirt. what you wear too. Come Is on. that a tight knit shirt? What is that? It's what is a, it made yeah, of? It's a niche, It's uh, it's called summer silk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice short sleeve. He wears the same oh, kind of shirt. Funny. He's I got, like a, he's got a whole look. I, I got a whole wardrobe. He's got like a uniform. Yeah. yeah. And, and they, I, grip yeah. Him, they grip him right around the gut. Yeah, and if I came in in jeans, he'd be going, that's not professional. It's not. Well, I don't, who, who hired you to no, wear if jeans? If you wear a suit, you must wear the knit shirt? No. <laughs> but it's more comfortable in a shirt and tie all the time. He's real hairy. I used to think the knit shirt was just his hairy chest. I didn't yeah. think he was wearing exactly. a shirt. Yeah, right. yeah, who's writing that crap back there? <laughs> no one. <laughs> Do you want me to shave, too? No, I don't care. You don't care? Do whatever you want. All right. I'm just telling you, man, this shirt's got to be let out or something. Let out? There's yep. no other kind no, of you shirt. No, you can't let those shirts out. You can't? No, stretch them or something. No. Or maybe lose 10 pounds. I mean, he too could tight. wear a T-shirt, right? Yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's walking around with these tight shirts. I don't like it. <laughs> Since when do you look at me so hard? He's been What's telling you about that? this for a while. Yeah, well. <laughs> too bad. Busting balls is his occupation. I don't speak a f***ing word to you, so shut your mouth, all right? Piss him off and you'll risk castration. I'm sitting here minding my own f***. You better leave that you cheat alone. Good, stay there. And when you walk past me, I'm a piece of stone to you. Just remember that. Hey, whatever you do, leave that Jewish guy who thinks he's Italian alone. Keep it up, you wow. <laughs> Keep it up, man. Uh, by the way, I was when we were over at uh, uh, I was wondering where would Ronnie sit. I don't know. I know where I'm going to sit. You do? I picked out my spot already. Yeah. They got this hot receptionist that sits there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right You'll be staring at her? Yeah. Right, right by Nicole, man. That's where I'm going to be sitting. Yeah. <laughs> How about the uh, full kitchen back there, Robin? Remember? Oh, yeah. The full kitchen over there. I don't care how drunk you were. Oh, ah, cut it out, man. A deal's a deal. Your mind's on done with you. What? Ah! Oh, I'm going to get sassy with me here, boy. Ah. Oh, man. Cut it out, man. Ah. Hey, man. Yeah, I got all.
you remember when you were that dude and he was whipping you? What dude? All the tricks here for you. When we hypnotize you, you don't even have a recollection of it. There was no dude. Now listen. I'm going to play. I'll play with you. We'll play ours, too. Yeah, I don't want to get like hard, you, though. Man. You're mine now. That's all that you know. You are mine. You are my needs. You're my possession. Do you understand that? <sighs> Please spank me. I'm not doing it. You, you don't give me orders. You don't talk to me unless I talk to you. You understand? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? No. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, we got to take a break, Artie. Back to drinking. That's the big news. That's the big story this Congratulations, morning. Congratulations, Artie. I'm sorry, Ron, for whatever I did. Oh, Howard Stewart.